today is flour, salt, baking soda, sugar, vanilla, and buttermilk, and two eggs. Unsweetened cocoa, butter, vegetable oil, and water. <laughs> so half of our ingredients are going to go into a saucepan by the stove and um, so you're gonna need um, four tablespoons of this. I already put two in here, so I'm gonna put two more. You're gonna put one and a half of a cup of oil just straight in. One stick of butter. Okay, so now we're going to put our one cup of water. Turn on the stove about medium and then after you put all of your ingredients in here um you're going to um stir it until all the ingredients melt and it comes to a boil so it looks like that and we'll be right back when it's done <laughs> So we just melted it all the way down, it came to a boil, and now it's all the way finished, then we're gonna start the dry ingredients. So now we're gonna do our dry ingredients. Um, after we do our dry ingredients, we're gonna um, add the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients and put them together. Okay, so um, for the dry ingredients, um, you're gonna have two cups of flour and sugar. So one cup of flour, and also you're gonna put this in a large mixing bowl. I like to put it in this big, huge, like, handy like, electric mixer. And so, it's just easier. So, one and two. And now, Julie's going to put two cups of sugar. Okay. So, one of these. I did you two. Two. You're going to do baking soda and salt, one teaspoon of each. And just put that in there. So then we're gonna put the cocoa mixture that was in our saucepan and pour it into our dry ingredients. So we just mix our dry ingredients up like just a little bit so it doesn't get all clumpy. Pour the whole thing of that in there. Put it up low. Put it. Okay, let's continue guys. So now I'm gonna add three quarters of a cup of buttermilk <laughs> into the pan. Okay, they're done. The um, green light showed, so 
I'm just going to pull it up, make sure that you know that it's hot up there. So I'm just gonna grab two forks and kinda just, oh, make sure that you turn this off before you do this. And then there's one, hot. And put it on your little tray. all of our little cupcakes they so, like that. so now um we already made our frosting you can do any kind of buttercream frosting and we also added a lemon extract right yes you can do um vanilla extract but we wanted to do something different so we did that okay so after you did that those are cupcakes um place your cupcakes to the side um, get a huge spoon <laughs> and put it into your baggie. Um, this is a baker baggie, like a real deal, like cooker baggie. <laughs> Sorry, I have a shit. I think that's good. We're just, we got the flower tip thingy, so we're just going to put a bunch of flowers on them. Okay, so um, as you can see, I put it on a glass um, cup or just okay. a really big cup, so it will just hold it better. Um, do you have an elastic on your wrist, anyone? It's okay. Okay, so I'm going to try <gasps> Okay, so um, we just put them back on of our <laughs> fall. Okay, so we put a number 2D of the tip. It looks like this. And as you can see, if we just put it on a cup, it looks like that. Okay, so Julie, I'm going to try, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm just going to do it on one. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to have to press hard. <laughs> These are a little squish. Okay. Finally, we're done with our cupcakes. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cheers! We all want to catch these bad guys. Mm -hmm. and I'm well, I'll drive. <laughs> <laughs> They're good though. 